how to get fit the number one thing is that food is thy medicine if you take proper care of your health by food it's the best but if you take care of your health by medicines it won't work in the beginning for the time being the medicine you are taking may help the particular disease but in the long run it can create many other problems one of the problems is it can create a disease if you look at the causes of any disease you'll find that the number of causes maybe five causes maybe 10 causes but one of one of them is common every uh, disease that somebody can get is because of the medicines right so medicines are poisonous they are slowly working as poisons you can't understand the beginning but in course of time you may develop different diseases so be careful do not take medicines unless so much necessary essential right so the number one thing is that you take good food appropriate amount of food do not take medicines and the food that you have should have as little as possible sugar or carbohydrate rice bread these are really full of carbohydrate right and when you take tea you have sugar that's dangerous the thing is that you have to have fat a lot the egg yolks yellow part of the eggs that is egg yolks that's mainly fat right and if you look at egg white you'll find that there's protein a little bit fat is there as well but that's not significant so in a word you can say protein means egg white and fat means yellow part of the egg right and the other fat that's so much helpful that is nuts walnuts is the best almonds is also very good but there are side effects like you have oxalate so there's a lot of oxalate in almonds if you have a lot of oxalate what happens you may develop kidney stones so when you talk about keto diet when you talk about intermittent fasting what is the side effect is mainly kidney stones do not be afraid it doesn't much matter if you drink a lot of water even when there's some problem with kidney stones maybe forming with the passes of urine stool oxalates will go away so the only problem is oxalate when you have less carbo carbohydrate when you have fat when you have protein in a way what happens oxalate may build up when oxalate builds up it becomes so hard in course of time it turns into stones that's attached in kidney right kidney stones gallbladder stones are different it's because of bile you have a hormone that's produced by your liver and it works how it breaks down all the food that you have small into small parts the fat that you have fats turn into very tiny pieces and that's how the body absorbs fat if you do not have bile doesn't work properly then the fat cannot turn into very small parts molecules and they do not get absorbed by the body and they form as stones that's mainly uh, gallbladder stones if you do not have bile but if you have a lot of oxalate then there may be kidney stones and even when you have developed kidney stones if they're not that big enough what will happen if you drink a lot of water with the passage of urine what happens the the stones may get rid of your body so don't be afraid and don't uh, compromise keto diet because of oxalate but just a little bit more careful right so the basic thing is food and the most dangerous thing is medicine as i said if you go to the causes of any disease you'll find that one of the causes is medicine so why should we have it and allah or god has created our body is is for 1000 years as if you are a muslim you'll find that adam that is adam he was 
uh, alive for 1,000 years. So we are supposed to live for 1,000 years because of a lot of problems we come to only 50 years or so. So the most important thing is food. Even when you do not have proper food, you may survive. You may be all right. Not that easy, but you may survive. But if you take medicines, this is poisonous. It has slow poisoning elements, right? It will, in the long run, destroy your metabolism. It will destroy your health. It will create a number of diseases one by one. So be careful. Food is by medicine. Food is your medicine. If you take proper care of your food, the food items and the amount of food. And the third thing is you have to have intermittent fasting at least 12 hours within 24 hours, right? So if it is 14 hours, it can be all right. If it is more than six hours, that's very good. And if it is 18 hours to 20 hours, that's maybe the best, the best, right? So intermittent fasting is very important, right? Number two, if you do not have sugar, carbohydrate rich food, then very good. And the third is how much, what are the items you have to take care of it, right? So to get fit, exercise are very important. If you cannot run well, then what should you do? You talk over phone, you talk over mobile phone. So when you're talking over mobile phone, you keep on walking. You keep on walking, you keep on walking. When you are watching this video or other videos, what you do is you keep on walking. So keep your time, maybe two hours or one hour you stay on YouTube videos, then you do not stop, you just walk and watch. When you are watching television, you can also walk front and back. You do not turn back, but you just go front and back. That's how you can also take exercises. If you have diabetes, then the thing is that you should run. If it is possible, you run. Then you can have a lot of food. I found that when I take a lot of food for one month, and if I keep running well, I don't develop any problem. Uh, but if you, do, if you take care of the food, moderate amount of food, modern moderate amount of sugar, carbohydrates, which is possible. And if you do not run, you just talk and walk, you just talk and walk, and you just watch videos and walk, then it can be all right without, uh, without uh, jumps, without cardio, without um, running. But if you are careless about food and many other things, then two things you try, you run, and the other thing is you have a gap, intermittent fasting for at least 12 hours. It's Good if it is more than 14 hours and it is very good if it is more than 16 hours and it is the best if it is 18 hours to 20 hours just have a gap without anything you can only drink water you can also take tea but without sugar and milk you can take green tea but without sugar and milk if you take coffee you can also have it but the condition is you won't have sugar or milk, nothing, right? So if you are fasting the month of Ramadan, what you can do is you do not have any food in the seri before the uh, pause of prayers. You finish with water. So when you go to bed in the evening, maybe at 10 o'clock, maybe up to 11 can be all right if you do not have any food up to 11 and if you sleep and then wake up and just before the uh, faithful call of morning prayer the last time of seri you just keep on drinking water and if you want something more then you get a cup of tea cup of coffee cup of uh, green tea without sugar and milk right Okay, so this is most important of Zalek. So when you take care of this methodology, what is important is that you may have a lot of oxalate. This is the side effect. Because you have a lot of oxalate in hormones especially. Walnuts are very good. Peanuts is also good. You have oxalate, but hormones contains a lot of oxalate. But it, there may be 23 uh, hormones every day can uh, have, no problem. <clears throat> so the only problem is oxalate. If you have enough calcium, then what will happen? Oxalate and calcium bind together and pass within or through the urine 
through this tool. Right? This is how it doesn't much matter. So even when you have problem with kidney stones, if you have OED developed, then you need to drink a lot of water, let urine pass a lot so that the kidney stones get into small parts, molecules, and they pass through your uh, uh, penis, right? Uh, while urinating. In the beginning, there may be a little problem. Don't worry, it will go right. Don't take medicines because these are very, very detrimental to health. What I say is that smoking is injurious to health. Smoking is bad for health, right? So in every medicine, what we I think is that we should have something that, that medicine is bad for health. So in the beginning, it takes care of a particular disease that you are suffering from, but in the long run, there may be side effects and it may create another disease, then followed by another disease, then followed by another disease. In the beginning, with one disease you can go, no problem, but in course of time when you're getting older, stamina is getting less and less and so many other things will come, tension and all other things, then you cannot control your health. So what's the best? Let's go for the summary. Food is the medicine. When you are sick, then at least at the time, do not take sugar, do not take any carbohydrate food. You have fat and little protein, and you have a gap for 16 hours. Do not have anything, right? At least 12 hours, but it should be more than 14 hours. Good if it is 16 to 18 hours, and the best if it is 18 hours to 20, right? So